Hi, my name is Anati Madivela, reporting for Visbo Guzela. Welcome to the 2019 Health Sciences Alumni Symposium in celebration of 100 years of teaching excellence. And the faculty is celebrating its centenary, so also you are the department head of pathology. So um, what are you foreseeing in the future, you know, with just hematology, pathology and all of that in light of these centenary celebrations? So, so I mean, most of us who, who graduated from VETS um, are extremely excited that uh, we, we're reaching a century of teaching, research, and, and service at VETS. Um, in particular, in pathology, uh, we are moving towards an era of precision medicine. Uh, by that we mean um, you'll be able to uh, go into clicks or this can uh, literally buy a kit that would be able to make a diagnosis, uh, tell you what is wrong with you, uh, and actually give you the options for the treatment long be before the disease process mm -hmm. happens. And, and all of that precision medicine is actually happening in pathology. Uh, we are the driver of that, we are the innovators of that. Uh, that is basically our contribution to health. Okay. Uh, we see precision medicine and molecular diagnostics and this kind of molecular therapeutics as convergence of almost all therapies. September marks the month for cervical cancer. This is a momentous occasion for many people, you know, some who have lost maybe people to cancer or people who have um, actually overcome it. So how do you think this month should be celebrated? Um, myself, because of the social media, what, what I, I normally do when it's September is uh, I go out to churches, to places, flats, wherever, and give um, education about cervical cancer. I've got pamphlets that are designed long ago, which I give to people. And then um, I also try to get uh, people who are survivors to come and tell their stories. How did they survive the cancer? And it should be really uh, um, celebrated in that way. With the social media as well, you know our WhatsApp statuses. Every day when it's September, I just try and use a WhatsApp status to put my pamphlet so that people will be aware of it. And on my pamphlet there are my cell, cell, uh, telephone numbers where people can always phone me about it. And then I also put it on Facebook as well because those are two what, I mean, social medias that I'm using, Facebook and WhatsApp. At least I'm alerting a lot of women, even though some of them they won't say anything, but at least they are getting some knowledge about it. We at the Vitz Art Museum would like to invite you every third Saturday of the month at 12 o'clock to join us at the Family Talkabout, where you can bring your family and create art together, inspired by the exhibitions. We have a different art activity to link to each exhibition uh, every month.